Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss collagen isolation procedures. So there are mainly four steps in collagen isolation procedures. The first step is the preparation of the sample. Second step is the extraction of collagen from the sample. Third step is the purification of collagen from the other non-collagenous proteins. And fourth step is the reformation of the collagen molecule. So these are basically four steps in the total isolation procedure of collagen. So first is the preparation of collagen. So first we have to choose a source from which collagen can be isolated. So generally tendons are the preferred sources of choice from which collagen can be isolated. So tendons uh, are suspended in cold distilled water at 4 degrees Celsius for 3 days. So first they are suspended in water for 4 degrees Celsius at 3 days. Next the water was changed 2 times per day because what happens sometimes with tendon some uh, non uh, tendon thing or the uh, something which we are not interested they also come out from the tissues so the water needs to be changed and we are uh, purely interested in only collagen nothing other than that so after that uh, so after this, this water changing so fixed mass of tendon was defrosted and washed with cold water several times so why because or when you defrost or decellularize tendon, what happens? The collagen pieces tend to come out from the tendon. So this purpose of this step is to get collagen from the tendons. Next, the collagen fibers were cut into small pieces of 1 cm uh, in length and pulverized in a mill. This is purely for our uh, experimental purposes. And then they are dried for 24 hours at 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. So now we have prepared our uh, collagen uh, sample from which we will do further extraction procedures. So extraction can be performed by three important procedures either by salt precipitation method, either by acid extra extraction method or by enzymatic isolation method. So we can use any one of the procedures to extract pure collagen. All right. So First, let us discuss the theory behind salt extraction. So, as you can see in any sort of salt precipitation, what happens? Uh, suppose these are the blue ones are the collagen molecule. Here you have the water molecule and here you have the salt. So, when the salt concentration is much lower, collagen and water will more or less mix with each other. But as you increase the concentration of salt, what happens? Collagen molecules, they are hydrophobic in nature. So, they will... Uh, the only a uh, self assemble with each other and they will be surrounded by the interaction of water and the salt molecules all right so in this way gradually collagen molecules will self assemble with each other and they will be surrounded by a layer of water and salt so in this way you can get you can precipitate collagen from the entire mixture so this is the method basic method of salting out Likewise, you have dialysis of collagen where you can keep the collagen along with the uh, media in a dialysis bag. So what happens? All the non-collagenous proteins and other proteins which we are not interested, they will go out into the medium and the collagen will be pure collagen will remain in the bag, dialysis bag. After that, we can uh, uh, isolate pure collagen from the dialysis bag. So, Generally, there are two different methods. There is another third method. So, these two are basically chemi chemical methods of collagen extraction. So, number one is a salt precipitation method. So, in salt precipitation method, what happens? You treat, treat tendon pieces with neutral salt solutions like 0 0.05 molar Na2HPO4 at pH of 8.8 to 9.6. Now, what is the reason of treating collagen with this neutral salt solution. The reason is that purified collagen swells little and dissolves hardly at pH ranges from 5 to 11. So if you add a little bit of neutral salt solution, they can dissolve readily in this pH range. So the basic idea of using neutral salt solution is that to have a good solubility of collagen into the isolation medium. Then they add centrifuge at 40,000 to 50,000 G for 1 to 2 hours to remove suspended particles. So all the non-collagenous proteins or the extra uh, 
uh, particles that we are not interested in, they are removed by centrifugation and the collagen was isolated from the supernatant. Then they are treated with uh, sodium chloride solution. This here they are performing salting out method. So what will happen? The chloride ions will gradually surround the collagen molecule and the collagen molecule will self-assemble and they are using here 4 molar NaCl at 5 degree Celsius. So whatever they have got the collagen from the salting out, they are again performing dialysis. Alright, uh, so uh, why dialysis? Because you have used uh, some reagents like neutral salts or uh, neutral salts Na2HPO4 or NaCl. So after you get the pure collagen, you need to remove this extra reagents which you have used in the isolation procedure. So dialysis is basically for purification. To remove the Na2HPO4 and NaCl that you have used before and any other reagent. Then you have the method of acid isolation. So acid isolation what do you do? You, you soak tendon pieces with 0.5 molar acetic acid in presence of 5 millimolar EDTA. Now what is the purpose of EDTA is that Purpose of it is it acts as an antibacterial agent. Why? Because it does not allow uh, to grow biofilms. So when you are isolating collagen, because it is actually a tissue extract, sometimes whatever bacterial growth might occur, biofilm growth can occur. So if you add EDTA, that the, it, it will not uh, let bacteria or biofilms to grow on it. Moreover, it is also a chelating agent. So it can also chelate if present some divalent uh, cations also. <laughs> So the pH is 2.523 which is acidic pH and for 48 to 96 hours at 4 degrees Celsius and uh, 4 degrees Celsius so under constant temperature and pressure then the supernatant then you are centrifuging it again and the supernatant that you are getting is the acid soluble fraction of collagen you are filtering that and the filtrate was again salted out with NaCl. Like the previous case, you are also applying salting out method in this case also. Next, we come to the biological method of collagen isolation, which is the enzymatic method of collagen isolation. So here what you are doing, you are first preferred, uh, treating the tissue with 0.05 molar Na2HPO4 solution at pH 8.7 to 9.1 at 4 degrees Celsius to remove all the non-collagenous proteins. And then you are isolating pure tendon. So only tendons. You are not isolating any other thing other than the tendon. Other extra things have been removed. Next you are, uh, you are, you are, next you are uh, treating this tendon pieces with 0.5 molar acetic acid in presence of 5 millimolar EDTA. So uh, in presence of acetic acid in EDTA what happens from the tendon the collagen fibers come out. So and then uh, you dissolve that collagen fibers in uh, the media and then you add pepsin for 24 hours at 4 degrees Celsius. Now why pepsin? Sometimes uh, tendons not only contain collagen but other non-collagenous proteins. To remove the other non-collagenous proteins you add pepsin which will actually perform proteolysis. So then this process is repeated 3 to 4 times. Then after that it is centrifuged at 5000 G for 15 minutes. And the supernatant is collected. Why? Because in the supernatant, the collagen will be there, and in the uh, pellet, other particles will be there, which we will we are not interested in that. So from the supernatant, by salting out method, we are isolating precipitate of pure collagen. So by salting out method, what we are getting? Precipitate of pure collagen. But we need solution of pure collagen for experimental purposes. So what we will do? We will dissolve it again in one millimolar acidic acid and then we are performing dialysis why because we have used reagents like acidic acid we have used reagents like pepsin earlier and we are, and uh, we don't need these reagents in our final mixture so we will perform dialysis with 0 0.02 molar Na2HPO4 solution for 24 hours at 4 degrees Celsius and finally on dissolving the precipitate of pure collagen with acidic acid we get the solution of pure collagen which was our target. So uh, after getting solution of pure collagen, we again perform sometimes purification step. This is extra purification step which we are performing with the help of cation exchange chromatography. And after all this purification and extraction, sometimes reconstruction of collagen is also done. Why reconstruction of collagen is done? Because 
the collagen that you get after acid extraction or salt extraction that collagen if you see on the electron microscope you will see that most of the fibers are uh, badly disrupted so after acid extraction or salt extraction what happens most of the collagen fibers get uh, disturbed and they are badly disrupted so you need to reconstruct that collagen into the original structure so this step is purely for that by adding certain metal ions like al3 plus zn2 plus ca2 plus you can also perform this reconstruction and if some cross linking gets broken then you can perform this by glutaraldehyde now purification how you can do as you can see in case of cation exchange chromatography if i talk about the principle you can use the negatively charged beads all right so these are the negatively charged beads and you uh, pour in the mixture of amino acids positively charged amino acid and negatively charged amino acid so you pour in the mixture of positively and negatively charged amino acids now what will happen the negatively charged beads will have attraction for the positively charged amino acid so the positively charged amino acid will bind to this negatively charged uh, bead column okay so the column contains negatively charged beads so the positively charged amino acids will get bound to this uh, negatively charged beads and the negatively charged amino acids because of electrostatic repulsion they will flow out all right they will not bind and they will flow out in this way you can separate the positively charged particles from the negatively charged particles by cation exchange chromatography all right so in case of uh, collagen extraction or collagen purification we use carboxymethyl cellulose group in the ionized form which in the ionized form is negatively charged so we can use it in construction of beads in the column so and collagen is positively charged at ph less than 7 so if we design a cation exchange chromatography where we use uh, the ionized form of carboxymethyl cellulose as beads and if we then pour the mixture of collagen and other proteins what will happen collagen because it is positively charged will get attracted and stick to the negatively charged carboxymethyl group and the other non-collagenous proteins will flow out so in this way we can purify the collagen